Sabawanu. It's a South African saying which means, I or we see you. I see you. I see you. And the response is, I am here. In order for me to see you, I have to be present. When they say, I see you, it doesn't mean just you. It means those who come before you, your ancestors, and those who will come after you. And I am here. And we know this for people who are marginalized and other. They're not seen. They're noticed. We notice them, but we don't see them. We don't see their humanity. What this conference is about is it really is issuing both a loving challenge and an urgency for people to understand that we are deeply connected, that it is about building relationships in those places where we normally don't build relationships and understanding, as we put it, you are my other me. You know, if I don't begin to recognize you as part of who I am and understand how systemically we are intertwined and we have impact on each other's lives, then we can't look forward to the kind of world that we want to create for our children and our grandchildren. I'm really excited to hear different people, that we have speakers, we have performers, and just a community of like-minded individuals that want to grow together. Just the terms other than belonging are really important because it's something that people don't really talk about and think about, like these processes that humans do in society to really distance themselves from one another, not recognize each other's humanity. And I think this is like one of the next big movements is trying to understand the process of othering and trying to move forward and trying to find a way to bring people together. If you continue on this trajectory, like everyone was saying, of excluding and othering a lot of people, you'll never actually go anywhere. What's been incredible about it is being able to think about scholarship alongside a notion of kind of expansion and love. There's something I think really, really important about bringing together the fight for social justice with the inner work of like expanding the circle of compassion. You have people that are basically approaching this idea of inclusiveness and belonging from multiple different angles. And so just the combination of those perspectives it sort of breathes life and it makes the conference robust in ways that you don't often get. So we're all being required to learn something new. We're all being required to step outside of the domain of othering, which is in a very limited box of right and wrong and good and bad, and to expand who we are into actually considering Who's not here? Who needs to be here? Whose voice do I not know? Um, how do I get to express my humanness every single day? My family, my friends, my work. One thing I try to do that this conference really made me think about is acting as if the other is in the room even when the other isn't in the room. I really need to think about when I'm talking about things, when I'm organizing, when I'm leading, how I can bring in the others who aren't in the room, especially when they can't be in the room, but when they can, inviting them in. We have to practice being our values. So I could say I'm a loving person, but what does that mean? What am I actually doing when I'm loving you? But I also have to practice what it means to listen, to listen to what you have to say, and to allow myself to be moved by what you have to say. It's a feeling of presence, the purpose, the passion, the transformation, the entire reason we exist is to belong. Be long in. Belonging for me is making sure that everyone everyone feels safe and comfortable. Being able to express your experiences and engage and interact in your society. Belonging is partly about the absence of interpersonal and structural violence. The ability to be freely engaged, a part of things without punishment or constriction. Just feeling at home, feeling good, feeling welcome, um, safe. There's a lot of tension in our society, and there's not a lot of safe spaces where people can come together, realize they have different viewpoints, but all be committed to growing and learning from each other. So a conference like this gives people that opportunity. People say, well, what's the follow-up, and what do we do next? And I actually think that the creation of the space is the outcome. It kind of lifts each of us up to go out in the world to create similar kinds of spaces. People are having all kinds of experiences that I would call breakthroughs in terms of really trying to figure out how to grow, how to grow their souls, how to grow their hearts, how to grow their minds, and then apply that in the work that they're doing. It's been spectacular.
Again, it's not only important to love ourselves, it's important to love the world because the world is ourself. So this conference is about reclaiming and living and practicing belonging for no humans and no life are outside the circle of concern. Thank you.